Hi everyone, CG7 here. Uh, we're back for another Fluent Materializer tutorial. So Fluent Materializer is an add-on uh, that uses the Node Shader Editor here. And you can have uh, shaders and make beautiful uh, materials. So we're gonna start by adding material, very basic. And here, uh, we're gonna press F and choose three layers here. Why three layers? Because we want to have, first of all, here the main color. This will be uh, the color behind the paint. So what is actually uh, the scratches and everything. And here it will be the dust that we will add at the end uh, on top of everything. Um, okay, so let's jump into the shading mode and let's start. So first of all, uh, I wanted to make this dark, like the base dark, and uh, the roughness is a bit too low, so something like that. So the idea behind this uh, is to have the render like this one that you will see on the screen and I will try to reproduce this uh, with you. So first of all, we have a basic material. Uh, this is not metallic. Let me zoom in a little bit. And um, we're gonna add some uh, imperfection to it. So to do that, we go here on the side, we go to the Flint menu, imperfections, and we're gonna add dense. Uh, this one is pretty cool. It actually adds some uh, mark here, like you, you can see here. And um, to actually have a different color here, we're gonna use the mask and plug it into this one. So what this mask does is it applies the second color here on the dented here. There are right now a little bit too many of them so i'm gonna reuse this uh the two times and i'm gonna increase the scale so decrease the scale to actually increase the the dense so probably something like 10 and we have bigger impacts here so the second layer here will be the dense and we're gonna make it metallic so this is uh, metallic and I'm gonna increase a little bit. All right, we can play with the seed here if you want to change the placement of them. Boom, this one looks fine. Um, I want to add some edges here where the edges are a little bit uh, destroyed. So to do that, we're gonna actually need the mask here, all edges. And we want to make it uh, with this one. So first we're gonna make this here, but you see that we lost here the, um, the dented. So we need to mix those two masks. So to do that, press F and use the lighten here on the bottom. Gonna drag this and plug the mask into the mask. And now, as you can see, we have here the edges and we also have the dented. So that's pretty cool. Uh, right now, the all edges are a little bit too uh, uniform. So I'm gonna use here the texture input to make it a little bit more random. So you select this, you go to grunges, and branch number three. I'm going, I'm going to use the result into the texture. And now you see that it's more random. I'm gonna probably lower a little bit the coverage, um, something like 0.1. So we have very subtle uh, edge wear a little bit everywhere. Let's group those nodes together and we want 
here again to use the normal here but if we plug this here uh, this is gonna deactivate this one so um, fortunately we have here a normal input so we can plug this into this one and it will add this one to this one so the normal will add up together okay so we have the normal of the density and we have the normal of this I'm gonna um, actually make this so you can look here and uh, this is a little bit too uh, big and the reason for that is because the distance here it's a little bit too big so I'm gonna put something like that and it's uh, the distance is actually how much this edge will be uh, affected by this mass. So this, uh, if you reduce this distance, it will actually reduce the size of the edges. All right, so we have a good uh, basic setup here. Let's move to the top. Uh, we're going to just reuse the material that we just created, which is this one and we're gonna change the color here. We're gonna click here on the number to make a separate material, and we're gonna make it maybe brighter, something like that. We have a good uh, good start here, um, but on the top, I want to actually add some scratches. So to do that, you go to imperfections and choose scratches mm, i'm gonna use those one looks pretty cool and we can mix them here and if you drag and drop here it will automatically plug the normal into the normal and now we have scratches over there um, we have a little bit too many of them so probably reduce this uh 1.4 should be good yeah we have less now um, so that's the coverage it's how much you have of the uh, of the scratches and then we're gonna increase the size of them so decrease the scale 1.2 so to make big scratches and looks pretty good to me okay so we have good start here uh, almost the same as the bottom but we just change the color tweak some uh, some changes uh, for example I don't really like those dented here I'm gonna probably change the seed yeah looks a little bit better mm, and those are actually a little bit too uh, too much so if it's too deep here the dented you can actually change them by uh, decreasing the, the strength of them so we are almost good to go and now we need to add some dust because this is on the top uh, here I didn't add uh, dust because this is in the bottom and for the top part I will add some dust so to do that we're gonna go here if you want the dust mask is actually in the imper imperfections and dust here Boom. so you plug the mask into the mask and we have some dust we cannot really see it right now because this is a little bit white on the light gray color so this is a bit difficult to see but you see if i do that we can see the, um, the dust. Actually, I'm gonna keep this color because I like to have this darker color on the top. So that's pretty cool. Um, so the dust, you can tweak the settings, of course. Um, so looks pretty good by default. The scale is actually uh, the scale of the grains that you can see here. You have little dots and you can increase or decrease the scale, but by default it usually uh, looks good um, one thing to know is that if you don't see the dust on the top but you see the dust 
for example, on the side or on or in the bottom, you actually need to press Ctrl A and apply the rotation here. This is very important because this is based on the rotation of the object. So this will uh, affect how the dust uh, works. So that's good to go. Um, good thing to know is that if you actually decrease here the, the limit angle, you're gonna make the dust a little bit fall on the sides. So if you have a sphere, for example, we can see it better, but here we have like a square uh, shape and this is a square angle. So this is difficult to see, but if you decrease actually this, it will uh, make the dust fall a little bit on the side. So that's good to know if you have like a, a round shape, for example. So I think we're good to go for this one. And we are gonna work on this. Um, so first of all, I'm gonna add the same material of this one. I'm gonna add it on this one. So go here and choose this one. All right. And for this, I want to something that actually pops. So like we did, we select the same material here. Boom. Uh, actually, let me say this is this one. Yes. So like we did before, uh, click on the number to make a separate material. Then you click here and change the color to something red or something. It's popping. Great. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and I'm going to add this material to this one too because I want something kind of uh, remembering this color here and here this one too, boom. Great. Um, we're not going to change the scratches and the dust because you see this is on the top at the same level of this and um, we use this exact same material that we just duplicated and changed the color. And you can see the scratches are actually matching together. So this is very important to not change here. Uh, for example, if I change the scale of this and I make it like this, then you can see here it doesn't match anymore and it doesn't make sense. So I'm gonna actually invert that and keep the exact same scratches, dented and dust as the the black part. This, this is very important. So if for some reason you want to adjust this because this is too much, you say, no, I want less uh, dust, then it doesn't make sense to not uh, change this one too. So make sure to actually update all of them together uh, to have more uh, uniform uh, results. Uh, I hope you enjoyed and see you on the next one.